today I'm going to show you how to make an aquaponic system in about an hour using standard five gallon buckets you can get at your hardware store. First we'll start with the manifold. We'll cleanly drill some quarter inch holes into a threaded section of pipe and we'll attach that manifold to the pump that we select and as long as the pump and the manifold and the fittings all fit into the bottom of a bucket without interference you should be in good shape. We've drilled enough holes to feed one tube of water for each of our grow buckets and we'll just use standard uh, quarter inch drip system uh, tubing and to use it we'll just cut it at 45 degree angle and then you can easily push it in to the manifold again one for each of the grow buckets that you use then just uh, put the whole arrangement into the sump where we can do our pumping next we'll work on the grow bed buckets You'll need a, a sharp drill bit sized to snugly fit half inch irrigation uh, tubing similar to the tube we used in the manifold. Again you want a very clean hole so this mostly uh, watertight. Then you can cut an 11 inch section of that tube and push it through the hole that you just drilled. And if you did a good job it shouldn't drip much at all. Then on the side you're going to make an important hole about so, 10 inches or so above the bottom we'll make a nice clean hole where we can use a uniseal in order to make a good seal and some some tubing I use clear tubing I don't recommend it I think you should use an opaque tubing it helps keep the algae down but uh, so then you can connect all your buckets together and here's a filter for the buckets that hold fish that way the fish can't get in and then uh, we'll take some 2 inch PVC pipe and cut some 12 inch lengths of it one for each of the grow beds and of course you want a deeper to make sure everything's nice and clean then what we'll do is we'll drill some holes a couple of rows of uh, maybe uh, quarter inch holes or smaller and this will allow our water to easily flow in and out and again deeper so that's nice and clean then you just take this tube and slip it over the, uh, the flexible tube and with the hole side down where all the tiny holes are more toward the bottom. Then we'll kind of hold it up with some larger rocks and then fill in the re remaining area with the uh, this expanded clay uh, grow media. And once it's rinsed off nice you can just fill up your grow bed and this is where you're going to grow your plants. I made seven buckets in all for my system. Here's the water uh, from the manifold, you just run the tube all the way to the bottom. And for the fish, we'll need to boil some rock so it's nice and sterilized, and dump some gravel into the buckets where the fish will stay. The fish also need air, so you'll need an air pump and a bubbler. And you can run this off of a timer if you don't want it running all the time. And there's the fish are all taken care of now. So here's the final system. It runs off of a timer. Uh, the pump runs about five minutes on, 20 minutes off which is enough to fill and drain the entire system. And you may need to adjust the timing based on the capacity of your pump. So here's where fish live. There's some gravel down on the bottom and the bubbler. There's hoses connecting all of the buckets to one another along the bottom level there. There's our sump with the manifold and all of the hoses that we use to deliver water to each of the buckets. And when you're done, you'll be able to grow some really nice food. Here's some uh, young uh, Roma tomatoes. Uh, and the system works really, really well as long as you have a, a nice timer on your system. And the, uh, the results are fantastic. Good luck.